Another thing you need to be looking at when it comes to trading is support and resistance level. Okay, support and resistance level. These are key points in trading. Every trader works with this. Whether um, those who say they are smart money concept traders, those who say they trade price actions and the rest. Okay, whatever it is, you need to be guided with support and resistance level. Okay, so in trading, when we talk about support and resistance, in trading, Support and resistance are terms used to describe the level at which the price of an asset, okay, tends to stop and reverse, okay? A any level where a price of an asset tends to stop and reverse. So if I go to the four hours time frame here, okay? Now, first, we talk about support. What, where, how do you get your support levels? Where do you get your resistance level? So support refers to a level where the price of an asset tend to find support as it falls. Okay, when the market is falling down, we will, and then we are looking for support. We are looking at that level where when the market continues to fall and it fails to break that level, that becomes a support level in the market. Okay, so that level becomes a support level. Then resistance refers to a level where the price of an asset tends to find resistance as it rises. Okay, whenever the price rises, you know, the way the market moves, okay, it comes this way, go up, okay, it doesn't just go up, brrr, and then come down again. Okay, within this period where it will come down, it will come down, retrace up again, come down, retrace up again, come down, retrace up again. So when we talk about support and resistance for support, okay, when the market rise, um, when the market falls and then fails to break a certain level, we make sure, we use that, that we use that level as a support. Um, level okay and then when the market rises and it fails to break a certain level we use that as a resistance okay so when you look at the higher time frame here you want to look at a resistance level where the market has failed you know to break so if i come to um let's say the daily time frame here at this consolidation period there, there is a support a resistance level at the up top here okay and then there is a support level below here all right so when you mark this price this level where market fails to break you look at that level as a level of support and resistance you can equally do that on all time frame okay so if i zoom out of this time frame here there is we can actually say that there is a resistance at 17500 okay so you can bring your horizontal to here because if you look at this price history here you see Okay, if I retrace that back this to these levels here, you see that at this level of 17,500 or thereabout, price has always touched this level from here. You see that price, you know, moved up this way, okay, even with this false breakout and the rest, then came down and stuff like that. At 17,500, there is a resistance here currently, okay, at 17,500, because that is even where the price has gone to this current move upward movement here. Okay, this price has gone to test that 15, 17, as you can see the high here, this 17,500, and then it retraced it back. So what we are waiting for is a break of this 17,500. If the market breaks the 17,500, which is the resistance here, yeah, okay, there is a strong resistance at 75. If it breaks it, then the next level we are looking at is this 18,000, okay, either 18,000 or 18,500 or thereabout. Then if it breaks above 18,500, Okay, another level we'll be looking at is around 20, 21,000. Okay, these are first things you need to look at. And then the support level are where the market has came down to. Okay, so we'll have another support somewhere. At each interval, you'll be getting support and resistance. Okay, so you can get a support around here. All right, and then another support somewhere around 15,000. Okay, another support will be around this. So Though these are not major support because maybe when you talk about major support, if you look at the daily time frame, you can go to as low as 13 and, and below. But this is where the price currently moved or where the price has tested. Okay, you see here that the price moved down here. It tested this level, went up again. This one came down, though it didn't reach this level, but it went up again and then came down, okay, touched this level and went up again. It means that if price has tested this twice or three times, it means that there is a support here. Okay, there is what is actually stopping this market from breaking this support level. When it breaks the support level, then we can expect a lower price. Okay, the same thing happens to the resistance level. 
So when the market breaks, okay, when it came down, it broke this level here, this middle level, and then went up this way. Okay, so now it came down, and currently we are at this support level of 17,500. So if it breaks this, this resistance level, okay, resistance is at the top, okay, and then support is below. This is one thing you equally need to pay attention to. So if you want to be a, become a price action trader, what you are looking for is where the market will go. Okay, right now that the market is struggling with 17,500. If this market breaks this level here, what you'll be looking for, that is when you now, you know, start looking for break or structure. Okay, so as we just said that the trend of the market now is in an uptrend because this low, this low here is higher than this one. This low here is higher than this one. So this is the previous low before this consolidation we are having here. If this market breaks this structure and come down to this low here and then breaks this low, then we will now be looking for a sell trade. Okay, that sell trade could not start retracing until it gets to this support level of 16,500. Okay, so if the market gets to 16,500, there's every probability that it could break this support level and continue downward, or it will bounce from this support level and then continue upward. So the upward movement will come to test this 17,500 or even break the 17,500 and go up. Okay, so before you can even take a sell trade, is for it to break this previous low here. Or before you take a buy trade, then it needs to break above 17,500. Okay, so these are some of the things you need to understand when it comes to trading. It is when you understand all of these things, even if you are going to use indicator, because there are hundreds of indicators in trading view. And I've made it um, a point of duty to share at least every week, share a strategy of a combination of indicators that you can use. You can use one indicator, you can use two indicators. Now, for a free trading view account, the highest you can use is three indicators. So I try to share in the, you know, strategies around these indicators and you can use indicators to determine the market movement, the market trend, and then you know, some of these indicators even give you buys and sell signals within um, every interval as the market moves. Okay, so you can use indicator to learn. Now for my own um, strategy as a beginner, first, why you learn these levels of resistance, levels of support, okay um you know break of structures and all of this you can actually start using indicators all right you use indicators to start trading with the indicators you can use it to make decisions that can profit in the market and then as time goes on you will now start looking at the bigger picture of price action and the rest okay you can just with price action you can look at the market and trade without even using indicators but as a beginner you need indicators to start with all right because indicators gives you an idea it you know it gives you a short term movement in the market where you can use to cash out before any other thing happen in the market